dramatic scene unfolding on the streets of Atlanta overnight as a brawl in the streets ends in a local neighborhood without power. Our Tori Cooper's on the scene with new video from an Uber driver who saw the whole thing. Good morning, Robin Gervier. We're going to show you the video that the Uber driver airdropped to us in just a second. But first, let's set the scene for you out here just to give you an idea of the dramatic crash that we saw and some of the aftermath that it came along with it. You can see this power pole right here and where it's severed. This is where a blue sedan smashed into it. There's pieces of the car still out here, glass, heavy metal. Now let's roll the video of the scene so you can take a look at what this all looked like. You can see first responders showing up, tending to the victims who were in the car. We watched two people leave in an ambulance to go to the hospital. It's unclear right now whether or not they made it there okay. But now we want to start talking about this storyline that we later learned from that Uber driver who was on scene when we showed up and showed us this video. You can see this is video of him driving in his car last night. He says shortly before 5 a.m. he witnessed a confrontation between a group about of about four people at the Lindbergh Marta station. Now we want to show you the video that he started filming on his cell phone. You can see the group taking to the streets and you can see a number of them circling around and a few of them start punching each other. It turned into a vicious brawl. The Uber driver tells us he then watched them get into their separate cars and start racing down the highway. He says that's when he saw them crash right here. Now we're still working to learn how they're doing obviously, but this did knock out power to over 1100 residents. We did see Georgia Power show up here working to restore power on their website. They say that they're working to restore that power as soon as possible to residents. As soon as they do, we'll make sure to let you know. We'll be out here throughout the morning trying to find out more pieces to this puzzle and we'll share it with you right here. Reporting live in Buckhead, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. Yeah, there's a lot of pieces, no doubt. Tori, thank you for that report.